All right, I see what you're trying to do, but it's not going to work. I'm not going to arrest him. I'm going to arrest him! You want backup? Yes! What is this? You can't do this. Get that thing out of here. Excuse me, sir. Trevor Podolsky, you're under arrest for vandalism and destruction of property. Dad! What are you doing? I told you to back off, Peralta. First off, the name's Santiago. Detective Amy Santiago. Second, I'm arresting your son, which, as I say it aloud, seems like an unwise choice. But it's the one I'm making. Once again, my name is Amy Santiago. You're being stupid, Peralta. Don't be stupid. I can make your life miserable. Commissioner, please don't talk to my detective in that tone. If you have a complaint, you can take it up with me. You just made yourself a very powerful enemy, home. I'm going to be watching you, both of you, like a hawk. You're going to have to try a little harder if you want to scare me. I've been an openly gay cop since 1987, so you're not the first superior officer to threaten me. You know how I'm still standing here? Because I do my job. And I do it right. Damn, son! Don't say son. You okay? The fairy princess castle has defeated me. I'm a grown man with man hands and a man brain. I should be able to put together a dollhouse in less than four hours. Why does it have to be so hard? This screw has three pointy sides and nowhere to screw it in. And there's wheels. What kind of castle has wheels? Barley and Jimes. We're looking for Donnie Romano. Uh, come in. Donnie, what'd you do? Cops are here. Uh, what do you guys want? Sorry to bother you, sir. My partner here forgot about a form we need you to sign. What's happening, Donnie? What'd you do? I didn't do anything. It's not my fault. Same old story. It's never your is it? What did Donnie do? I swear, Ma, I don't know what this is about. Why won't you ever believe me? Because I raised a liar. Oh. You lie. Shut up, Ma. Hey, don't talk to Ma like that. Don't you tell me what to do, Louie. Excuse me. Hey, hey, not the rules. Hey, George, yes. do something. Hey, oh, excuse me. Hey, Come on, Come on. Come on. My wife was murdered by a man in a yellow sweater. It's the one case I can't solve. Don't fight with family. It can all go away so quickly. Sign this. Marco! Now you say polo. Oh. Charles, this is exciting. Medal of Valor. I know. For getting shot in the butt. Oh my god! For exceptional acts of heroism or voluntary risk of personal safety. But, you know, six and one. This is one of the NYPD's highest honors. Today is your day, Detective Boyle. Heroism can't be measured by a piece of metal. But what else can we do to recognize the brave officers that have put their lives on the line? It is my great honor to present the Medal of Valor to Detective Charles Boyle. And Sergeant Peanut Butter. Oh my god. Charles is getting the same medal as a horse. At least Boyle was announced first. Because the horse outranks him. This is amazing. That's enough, Peralta. This is a huge honor, and nothing can take that away from him. The horse is pooping on the stage. Sergeant Peanut Butter is pooping on the stage. Oh. I'm worried you don't find me interesting. I'm gonna pretend someone texted me. Bloop. I'm ashamed of my living situation. I sometimes worry I'm gonna become you. Your medal was well deserved. Thank you, sir. Your breath is terrible. Hello, everyone. My name is Roger Strikewell, and I will be your guest auctioneer this evening. So many faces to look at. I won a radio contest, and I'm so excited to be here tonight to sell you all of these cool old Greek things. Our first item up for bid is lot number 344. It is this old vase, a vase if you're nasty. It was made in the year five, and depicts the classic Greek fable, boy meets girl, boy has goat legs, and on the back, just a whole bunch of wheat. So let's start the bidding at $10. Oh, yes, okay, started way too low. I have 85, do I have 90? I have 90 from the man with the face at table four. This is terrible. 
You don't know what you're doing. Adam Sandler? Yeah, that's right. I collect antiquities. I'm a serious person. I'm writing a movie right now about the Russian Revolution. Oh, really? Who does Kevin James play in it? Uh huh. It's a serious movie. Trotsky. Ah, there it is. But he's got a wife who never wears a bra. I think you're gonna like it. Thanks for dressing up, by the way. All right, back to this plate. I think you could use it for a variety of things. New item up there. Uh, how much you guys want to pay for me to stick my socks in this moron's mouth? I will. Did football legend Joe Theismann just bid $1,000 to put a sock in my mouth? You bet. OK, but let's get it going a little Seriously, higher. Seriously, back to the porno plate. Uh, 1200 bucks. Plate sock in the mouth. Boom. OK, the idiot the gets the sock in the mouth. Boom. I'd say 1300 would be even better. 1300 Joe Theismann <laughs> coming in uh, strong. I got 1300 25000 And a one. I had a two. And a boom. <laughs> Sold to Joey Theismann. Congratulations. You're getting a sock in your mouth. 1300 bucks, Joe Theismann. Can I stick the sock in his mouth? I'll pay extra. Yes, you may, because I just sold my item to the man in the gray shirt at table 18. NYPD, you're under arrest. Heading your way. Gotcha. My leg. My leg. You broke my other leg. Uh, oh, this was supposed to be a safe event. Nothing to see here. Oh. Except for the bone oh. sticking out of the leg. Oh. Joe, I videoed it. All right, listen up. What you're about to see is highly disturbing, but please, no comments. This man is in pain, so above all else, be kind. Good morning, boy. Let's just get it out there. Vivian broke up with me last night. I'm sorry, Chuckle Bunny. <sighs> Charles, wait! Yes? Your food dehydrator. Oh, God. It's official. Wedding's off. And this is what I'm like now. Life is a pit. Excuse me? I don't understand. Did you already have a Matrix getup at home for some reason? No, Gina. I bought this with the money I was going to spend on our honeymoon to Cape Canaveral. I'm so sorry, buddy. Don't be. I'm settling into the darkness nicely. I definitely get you now. What you got there, boy? Eggs in a bag. Nothing brings me joy anymore, not even food. Now I only eat for sustenance. Smart. Save that for later. <laughs> Anyways, Charles wanted me to reiterate how sorry he is, but he got an emergency call, and that is plausible because we're detectives. Well, this is a tough case because Charlie was acting so weird tonight. Mm-hmm. Work has been so stressful. Speaking of, here is your coat. I've got to run. If you wouldn't mind using the back exit, it'll be much safer. Trust me, I'm a cop. New York, right? <laughs> Charles, what are you doing here? I'm so close to getting you out of this. They're putting their coats on. Funny story, I was walking home and I passed a pawn shop and then I went into a trance and now I have this engagement ring. No, Charles. Well, I'm gonna go ask Vivian to marry me. Bye. No, give me that. Jake, give that back. I'm doing this for your own good. You've gone full boil, I'm helping you out. Give me that finger, I'm gonna pepper spray you. Pepper spray me, I will pepper spray you. Huh? Mm. Up your jacket, sit up straight. Judge Mandel has a reputation for being strict and proper. All right, no worries. I'll just act like you. Say something so I can get the cadence of your voice down. I will not. Perfect. I will not. I will not. I will not. Have a seat, Detective. I will not. Excuse me? Uh, sorry. I meant out of respect, I will choose to stand. Sit. I will not. This looks like it was filled out by a toddler. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to have to go through this point by point. Justice cannot be rushed. But could it be gently nudged into hyperspeed? I take it you're the toddler. Mm -hmm. Excuse me a moment. Mm -hmm. This is going terribly. New plan. I'm going to charm her. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I had to take that. You got to do what you got to do. Captain Raymond Holt. What's up? <laughs>